Two more meatpacking plants in Utah have now shut down their operations for a few weeks after employees tested positive for COVID-19. Fox 13's Aaron Cox joins us live from Salt Lake City to explain the effect this will have on food production and prices. Aaron. Now, Bob and Kelly, I'm here at the Department of Agriculture and Food, where their role is to help out smaller businesses like some of these meatpacking plants who have been impacted by COVID-19. They say the outbreak should be over soon and that they should be up and running shortly. The largest spike in COVID-19 cases for a meatpacking plant here in Utah can be narrowed down to JBS in Cache County. The pandemic had caused a slow in production, so JBS was already working at half capacity, normally slaughtering 2,200 cows a day, now 1,300. Then when nearly 300 employees were infected, production slowed down to one fourth of their capacity or 700 cows a day. It was just so that they could let employees go home, get their feet under them, make sure that they're feeling well before they could return to work. With employees home though, cows still kept coming in. You got to have this pipeline of trucks and a truck can haul about 30 cows on it at a time. So to get 30 cows, um, you know, you're talking 20, let's see, 27, that's almost 90 trucks a day coming into that facility that you have to plan for and have routes in to include. About 100 farms that provide cattle to JBS were impacted by the slowdown. Two small meat packing plants were forced to completely shut their doors after employees contracted COVID-19. JBS is killing 2,200 of a week capability. These, these other two are like 30 a week capability. The Department of Agriculture and Food has already approved four million dollars of applications to help facilities like the two smaller meat packing plants who have been impacted by the virus. They say all three of these meat packing companies are on the road to recovery. They've been down for quite some time and they should be going again from what I understand. Now, the health department says there is no evidence that COVID-19 could be spread through food. As for these meatpacking plants, they say that they should be up and running. And the greatest impact we are going to see from what happened here is likely going to be in the prices of food. Live in Salt Lake City, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.